shown in the metal for the first time at the Geneva Motor Show, is Lamborghini's new Huracan, the replacement for the 10-year-old Gallardo. The Huracan, which as Lamborghini tradition dictates is named after a famous fighting bull, breaks new technical ground for Lamborghini thanks to novel hybrid carbon fibre and aluminium construction that will feature not just here but on some future Audi models too, including the R8. Audi is Lamborghini's parent company. The new mixed material body, developed in tandem by Audi and Lamborghini engineers, is not just stiffer than the outgoing Gallardos by a whopping 50%, but it's also some 10% lighter. Still, the Huracan at 1420 kilos without fluids is a tiny bit chubbier than the car it replaces, partly because it has a new twin clutch gearbox rather than the old single clutch automated manual, and partly because it's a lot nicer inside. There's Nappa leather and Alcantara trim, while there's a configurable digital instrument panel which allows the whole screen to be dominated by satellite mapping and a steering wheel that, like the Ferrari 458s, houses fingertip controls for the wipers, main beam and indicators. Lamborghini says this allows for larger paddles for the gearbox. Purist sweep, there's no three-pedal manual at all this time, but the reason is that only 2% of Gallardo customers ever ordered one. Also on the steering wheel is Lamborghini's answer to Ferrari's Manatino. This optional three-stage switch can alter the chassis's characteristics, including the speed of the steering. What Lamborghini customers will find more familiar, however, is that there is still a naturally aspirated V10 in its middle, driving through all four wheels. Normally it's mildly rear biased, but depending on what you're doing, it can put as much as 50% of power to the front or as much as 100% of power to the rear. We're told the 5.2 litre V10 is a new unit and it puts out a distinctly unshabby 602 horsepower. That's good for acceleration from rest to 62 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds and to 124 miles an hour, that's 200 kilometres an hour, in under 10. Top whack is an unspecified amount over 200 miles an hour. Just one more number then, the Huracan will cost around £190,000 when it goes on sale in the second half of this year. A spider variant, fast super leggera versions and even some two-wheel drive models should appear later.